Hi, it's time for another unboxing slash teardown videos and this time I'll unbox this ultra USB plaster clone. I got this from eBay for around 4, 4 US dollars shipped from China. I think it said it comes from Philippines but it came from China. And here is the content of the package. There's the USB plaster itself. Of course, it's not the real USB plaster. The real one doesn't even look like this. There's the pin here on one end and USB connector on one end. Just basic cheap plastic box. Comes with this 10 pin cable. Nothing special on that. That should work. I don't see any problem on that. Just a regular cable. And there's one USB to mini USB cable. And Chinese manual. I have no idea what that says. It should be quite straightforward to use this device. Just plug it into the USB port and drivers are installed automatically in the Windows 8 at the least. I don't know about, about the previous versions of the Windows, but that's the case with 8. Let's pop this open because there's something changed in the internals because this was much cheaper than this used to be. This used to be based on Cypress CY7C6801 3A microcontrollers, but like you can see, this is based on STM32F101CBT6 that 32-bit ARM processor or microcontroller, and on the other side, there's place for SPI flash and micro SD card slot. Those are unpopulated. And one problem I saw was that the connector on the end was kind of tilted, but that shouldn't be a real problem because it soldered quite good. Here on the side of the board is place for pin header. And if we start from the end that has the USB port, there's a power, ground, data and clock pins for the serial wire debug and here on the C25 there's the reset pin that's not on the connector there was the internals of these new versions of the USB plaster clones from eBay